he tends to work behind the scenes. Charlie Vubkin always knew he wasn't destined to stand in front of the camera. To be? <laughs> These sets were custom made for a film set in Shakespearean England. To attract other major film productions, Vopkin invested 10 million euros in Dark Castle Entertainment, a Hollywood production house. In return, the Americans are shooting several big feature films here. As producers, we of course hope to make money. But another aspect is that this partnership has earned us an agreement from Dark Castle to produce a certain number of films here with us. So the investment guarantees the studio a certain basic workload. Back in 2004, when Vobkin acquired the studios together with a business associate, there was a lot of cleaning up to do. The studio was heavily in debt, but it also had some unique capital, valuable props and experienced set designers. Now the studio employs a permanent staff of 90. They're supplemented by freelancers, depending on the workload. Vobkin has to ensure that his employees have enough work, even when there are no film productions in the pipeline. We also do exhibition design for the International Consumer Electronics Fair for a well-known electronics company. I can't tell you which one, but I think this is the third time in a row that we've basically built their stand. Vupkin has always been confident that the studio's illustrious name would attract international filmmakers. And the past few years have seen a series of Oscar-winning productions. So you come from here. So we're getting on number one. Roman Polanski. Du kannst es lesen. Ich würde dir lieber zuhören. Kate Winslet. And Tom Cruise were all here. Quentin Tarantino shot his wartime fantasy Inglorious Bastards here. And others followed. I'm convinced that Inglorious Bastards was an important milestone for Studio Babelsberg, working with Tarantino and that whole milieu. We were at the Oscar ceremony in Los Angeles. And next day, we clinked glasses again with actor Christoph Waltz. It was great to be there and be part of it all. Things were going well for the studio. It was making millions. But then, the financial crisis arrived in Babelsberg. Worldwide demand for movies is undiminished. But after the collapse of Lehman Brothers, outside capital for film production just vanished completely. As a result, production output fell worldwide. The ones most affected are the medium-sized films that are often made by independent producers. And those are precisely the films that we specialize in, movies with budgets between 20 and 50 million euros. But in the past few months, there's been some sign of recovery. Vobkin has been able to underbid the competition in London or Budapest. One new venture is Chicken with Plums. The live-action film, based on a best-selling graphic novel, is being shot at Studio Babersberg. Hey. hey, how are you? you? Iranian-born author and filmmaker Marjan Satrapi is co-directing the work. She says she feels a close affinity to these historic studios. So the place, not only it is beautiful, but it has also a whole history of cinema. I mean, when you know that movies like Metropolis or uh, The Blue Angel has been shot here, you know, it gives you something. And then the quality of the work, you know, everything has been chosen, you know, I mean, this, you know, when you press and, you, you know. I mean, when you look at close, all the small details, they have been work. It's not just object to fill up a room. Although the studio heads have been tight-lipped about their next high-profile project, word is out that The Three Musketeers with Orlando Bloom is due to be shooting at Studio Babelsberg within weeks.